Hey guys, this is Shivam and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you that how you can jailbreak any iOS device using uncover method from iOS 13 to iOS 13.3. So basically you need to be till iOS 13.3 and below so that you can jailbreak. So let's get into it. Before we begin, let's talk about which devices are supporting. So these are the list which are supporting for uncover jailbreak method. So you should be on iOS 13 to 13.3 and from the iPhone SE 6s to all the way up to iPhone 11 Pro Max from A9 to A13 devices. Now let's talk about how to install uncover on your device. So first thing first, go to the appcake.com. Once you are there, go ahead and install appcake. Once you've done that, it will start installing on your device. This is basically install the uncover IPF files, any IPF files on your device by using AppCake. So as you can see, untrusted developer. So for that, go to general and in the device and management, go ahead and trust that certificates. So once you've done that, now AppCake should open. Uh, don't allow to for the notification, no thanks and verify. Once you click on it, it will say you to install the profile download and once you've done that, go to the setting and search for profile download. Click on it. Now you can see uh, we are basically installing the profile on our device. Give authentication and install. Once you've done that, now you can see the app cake should open. And now you can see AppCake has been opened. Once AppCake installed, uh, now we need uncover IPF files uh, to get installed on our device. So for that, better way to get uncover IPF file is uncover.dev, which is official website for uncover. So as you can see, we have the latest version. So go ahead and install that latest version because that is the stable version and it is supporting for all the devices. I'm on iOS 13, so it will install directly on your file so meanwhile it is installed so let me tell you the important things about the app cake currently app cake is signed that's why it is working perfectly if you want to know it, when it is revoked and when it is signed so better you go to the twitter and uh, follow the account app cake signed they will get to know all the information about app cake when it is signed and when it is unsigned one more method i want to show you that uh, you can install uncover via ulstore method that is required a windows pc to install ulstore on the device you can sign uncover app by ulstore for seven days and after seven days you can resign it again with the same method so no revoke forever okay that's about the computer we don't need computer for this method now once we download ipf files uh, it will save into somewhere uh, in files download it is downloading currently but i already installed that ipf file as you can see it's on uh, version 4.2.1 so go ahead and install that version and hit on share button and you can see copy to app cake once you hit on that it will copy to the app cake file import say yes download it and as you can see it's it is in the downloader folder click on it and hit install to install uncover it will extract the file and it will ask you to install it just hit install and there we go it started installing on the device and boom we got the uncover by mobile itself no computer required and as you can see the certificate has been signed already because we already trusted app cake and for the uncover it's already took now as you can see uncover showing jailbreak my device is supported for jailbreak but you might wondering that my uh, my device is already jailbroken now as you can see tweaks are working let me tell you i'm on check and i already jailbroken so i'm going to switch from the check to uncover but guys don't confuse with if you are new to jailbreak and you never jailbroken same method you can install the app cake and install uncover and start jailbreaking in my case already jailbroken so as you can see if we can restore system to remove and uninstall check run from the device and literally it will not uh, delete any files from our device so I'm not going to do that I'll just restart my device so whenever we restart the device in check run method uh, you will not be in the jailbroken method when you restart the device now you can see I'm in a stock mode iOS device and CDI will be there which is not working right now and we have the uncover that we need to jailbreak right now so so basically we are switching from check run to uncover and we are on 13.3 as you can see 
now I'm going to jailbreak with the uncover open it and start jailbreaking so in my case already jailbroken so that's why it will take one attempt if you are new to the jailbreak and you are doing it first time so it will take two three attempts so if it is stuck restart your device start jailbreak again and it will take um, basically three nodes will come so until then keep on jailbreaking and make sure you are on flight mode when you are doing jailbreak once you are done that so now you can see so my device has been jailbroken and when you see that respring logo that means you are done jailbreaking and as you can see my all pre-installed tweaks already came on to the device and uh, i'm now you can see the status re jailbreak that means i'm jailbroken my device and all tweaks are working and there is no check run and now you can see the cdr starter working let me off the flight mode and on the internet now you can see the cdr is working fine and previously i was on check run now i switched to the uncover and i didn't install uninstall the cdr but it started taking um, cdr tweaks and it's running perfectly on uncover so basically we are from the check rent to uncover switch and we are working perfectly if you are new to the jailbreaking and you done the jailbreak uh, you will not get some tweaks so you have to install the tweaks you need to find another video how to install tweaks and you need you need to know the primary tweaks which required uh, i hope you understand if you see uh, on app kick something app sync unified uh, the next method I'm going to show you that how you can install app sync and uh, will you will not get revoked on your app cake sometimes app cake required app sync to install app cake on your device so for that um, install this uh, repo which I'm uh, which I'm going to link down below in the description go ahead and install that uh, source through the CDR so basically if you install that uh, source to the CDR once you done that, return to the CDR and go to Karen repo, click on it and now you can see all the tweaks are there and uh, go to app sync unified. We need this tweak to install and go ahead and install that app sync unified. Restart the springboard. This tweak that patches install to allow the installation of unsigned fake sign or ad hoc sign IPA packages on iOS devices. So uh, you will let never get revoked and it will fake sign the IPA++ apps and all that. So go ahead and install the tweaks to run uh, app cake on your device and it will not get revoked easily. So thank you guys that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, this is Shivam signing off and it's always peace.